welcome back to my channel. At the Disney Invest today, Disney officially announced their 60th animated film in Kanto. Today I'm going to break down the official description of the project given by Disney and make some predictions. The description reads, Encanto tells the tale of an extraordinary family, the Magvigels, who live hidden in the mountains of Colombia, in a magical house, in a vibrant town, in a wondrous charm place called an Encanto. So this tells us that the film is not set in an ordinary public place in Colombia. This gives the filmmakers more freedom to be creative and take artistic liberties because technically this place doesn't exist. However, don't worry because I think this film will still feature a lot of elements of the Colombian culture. The next part of the description says, The magic of the Encanto has blessed every child in the family with a unique gift, from super strength to the power to heal. Every child except one. Mirabelle. I really like the idea of each person having a specific power instead of a more general magical ability. It could be a really effective narrative device with a person's power reflecting their personality. I do feel really sorry for Mirabelle having no powers though. She should just leave. It sounds too hard. Then it reads, but when she discovers that the magic surrounding the Encanto is in danger, Mirabelle decides that she, the only ordinary Magvigel, might just be her exceptional family's last hope. This kind of reminds me of Anna's story arc in Frozen. Unlike Elsa, she doesn't have powers, yet she still manages to save the day. I think that it's a good idea to make an ordinary girl the hero, because in real life, we don't have powers to solve our problems, so this is kind of a bit more relatable. Anyway, that is all for today. In my next Encanto video, I'm going to go over some of the leaked character descriptions, so make sure that you subscribe so you see it. Bye now, and have a magical day.